Now we are going to investigate further the detection of light by single edge obstacle. We want to know if the characteristic of obstacle's edge has any effect on the diffracted light. First, we will see the diffracted light caused by different thickness of the obstacle. For this purpose, we will use two edges of a cutter knife to make sure that both observations come from the same material. Front edge of the knife has very sharp edge while the upper side is blunt. When the sharp edge is used, the reflected portion of the light has similar length as the diffracted light. On the contrary, when the blunt edge is used, the reflected portion of the light looks much longer than the diffracted light. Cylindrical reflective objects can show this difference even more clearly. This can be explained by the fact that blunt edges have more area to spread the light beam to the screen. On the other hand, for sharp edges, large portion of the light beam will either go through unobstructed or is reflected back, hence leaving only a small portion available to produce spread light pattern on the screen. Now we will compare the shape of reflection pattern produced by a cylindrical obstacle with the one produced by a spherical obstacle. We can see that spherical obstacle produces wedge shape diffraction pattern.